On Thursday, September 8th, Buckingham Palace announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II at the age of 96. Her passing brings to an end a remarkable 70-year reign that had a profound influence in virtually every corner of the world, including here in Saskatoon. The Queen made several visits to our city, beginning in 1951 when she was known as Princess Elizabeth. The year before, she ascended to the throne following the death of her father, King George VI. She returned eight years later as Queen Elizabeth II with her husband, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Royal visits followed in 1978 and 1987 when Her Majesty returned to help celebrate in advance of two significant events in the history of the city, preparations for the 1989 Jeux Canada Games, and dedicating a plaque at the site that would become Wanuskewin Heritage Park in 1992. As the province of Saskatchewan celebrated its centennial in 2005, Queen Elizabeth returned to Saskatoon for what would be her final visit. She spent a significant amount of time greeting well-wishers, many of whom lined up for hours for a chance to get a glimpse of royalty at the then newly opened Canadian Light Source Synchrotron. This stop was of particular interest to the Duke of Edinburgh, who had long held an interest in scientific innovations. Prince Philip himself passed away last April, predeceasing his spouse of 73 years by just 17 months. The centennial visit also included a private reception with then Lieutenant Governor Linda Haverstock at the President's residence at the University of Saskatchewan. And it culminated with an appearance at a spectacular gala event at what was then known as Credit Union Centre. Queen Elizabeth II has been succeeded by her son, King Charles III, who also becomes the constitutional head of state in Canada. He has his own history with Saskatoon, visiting in 2001. He took part in dedication ceremonies for the 90th anniversary of the Saskatoon YWCA, and was honoured with the unveiling of the Prince of Wales Promenade on the South Saskatchewan River. Then, following in his mother's footsteps, he took part in an event at Wanuskewin. Then known as Prince Charles, at a luncheon, he expressed his regret that it had taken him so long to come to the city, and his hopes that he would be able to return someday. So I've been so touched by the warmth of the welcome I've received everywhere. I shall return uh, back across the Atlantic with so many happy uh, and special memories of all of you here and your kindness to me. It remains to be seen whether or not King Charles will be able to continue the tradition of members of the royal family visiting Saskatoon. One thing is certain, the impact his mother had during her trips to the city of Bridges will endure well into the future.